Welcome back, my frisky little naughty badgers. <laughs> My next guest is a, a charming actress. She was in uh, the movie Catch Me If You Can and The Wedding Day, and uh, she's just got an Oscar nomination for Junebug. Please welcome the lovely Amy Adams, everybody. Absolutely lovely. Thank I love you. your dress. Thank you so much. You know, I heard what you were saying about the Olympics and Tanya Harding. Yes. And people have told me that I look like Tanya Harding. Oh, <laughs> she wishes, girlfriend. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. That's the last time I read fan sites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you do you go on the internet and Google yourself? Um, I have. I really? Have to, yeah, I really have. You'll never find anything good about yourself <laughs> Googling yourself. You I know. haven't yet, no, so no, no. I think I'm not going to do that. No, I, I used to Google myself, but I don't anymore. That's smart. <laughs> Uh, you know, sometimes, you know. If, I, if it's late and you're feeling low. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, listen, tell me about the Junebug film. What's the Junebug film about? Uh, Junebug, it's a really hard film to describe in a short amount of time, but it's, um, it's about loss and it's about a southern family, but it's mostly about um, family dynamics and all that kind of stuff. But it's a really... All right, well, you... you I, now it's a you really go, great film. Uh, well, good. Thank I, you. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh no! No, I, I haven't seen it. I, I tried to see oh, it. And I couldn't Craig. get in. I couldn't get in. You couldn't get in. No. Where? Where's? Well, I. He wouldn't let me in because I was Scottish. It was. Uh, <laughs> They said this is a southern. No, yeah, this is a southern movie. South, get get, get out. It. Come yeah. back when you have your citizenship. <laughs> they say. <laughs> That's it. Now, you've been nominated for an Oscar, are you? I have. Are you beside yourself with excitement? I'm outside of myself with excitement. Nice. For sure. I'm yeah. definitely, it's an out-of-body experience. It's, it must be. Did you go to that Oscar lunch with all the... I did. Did Clooney hit on you? Come on. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I may, I've made such a fool out of myself in front of George Clooney so many times. Why? Um, he's just so cute, and yeah, I... It depends on what you like. You know, I'm a... <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. Orlando Bloom, girl, he is cute. I make it a point not to hit on anyone prettier than me in Orlando Right, right Cap, yeah, yeah so. well, that's true. He is very girly, isn't he? Well, you know. I, I mean that in a very respectful way. Shut up. No, but so how did you make a fool of yourself in front of George Clooney? What did you do? Oh, several times. I was at a, um, I was at a photo shoot, and I had all this makeup, and I was like really getting into character for this photo shoot and I had on this robe and he walked in and I just felt like I knew him mm. and I go Mr. Clooney and he just stared at me yeah <laughs> and I was like hi I'm you, Amy he might, have, he might have thought you were a cop or something <laughs> he's, uh, yeah. in a robe that's hey it's LA what about uh, <laughs> are you the only ex Hooters girl that's been nominated for an Oscar do you know unless Frances McDormand had a career as a Hooters girl a Hooters I'm girl thinking. I'm thinking not. Uh, I don't know, though. I don't know. Do, do you miss the Hooters girl experience? Um, no. No. I miss the free wings. Free wings. <laughs> yeah. I think it must be one of the hardest jobs on earth being a Hooters girl, actually. You, because you, not only are you waiting table, you're listening to extra amounts of crap from men. You know, I was so naive when I worked there, yeah. and I had been a dancer, so I was used to running around on stage in leotard and tights. So I'm mm. like, what's the difference? Leotard and tights, orange shorts and tights. There's a difference. <laughs> Who knew? Hey, you know Hooters has their own airline now? I heard that. I've never traveled Hooter Air. How about you? I, oddly enough, I was working on this film um, called Talladega Nights, and we all had to fly on a, this jet to go to um, uh, Birmingham to yeah. go to one of these races. And they had chartered a huge jet, and it was a Hooters air jet. Did the Hooters girls come by and no, open your No, no, they weren't working that day, apparently. We right. didn't have any, I don't know, but I was really like, oh yeah, Hooters, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I like airlines to be sort of, you know, well, we'll be flying at 5,000, all kind of, you know, respectable and pompous. I don't like, woohoo, Hooters, let's go. <laughs> Turbulence, yeah, let's find some more. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Exactly. We are out of time. Listen, I, I wish you good luck uh, at the, you at the so Oscars. And, and, uh, and if you win, come back. And if you don't, come back anyway. I would love to All come right. back. In the Adams, everybody, Thank we'll be right back. <laughs>
My first guest tonight is a great big movie star. She got an Oscar nomination for Doubt. She's in uh, the movie Sunshine Cleaning, which is in theatres. <laughs> Please welcome the beautiful Amy Adams, everybody. Amy Adams. <laughs> Amy, you Thank look you. sensational. Thank you. Just sensational. Thank you know what I love about I love when the ladies get their hair and then put it all on one side of their head. <laughs> I do like that. Good, I'm glad. It's very classic, Thank I think. Thank you. I tried to do that with my hair. Yours kind of goes to one side. That's just me that goes to one side. My hair is actually <laughs> perfectly straight and I go to one you side. You go to one side. Yes, you look very nice. I like your dress. Thank you. We kind of match. It's nice. We do a little bit, yeah, yeah although your earrings are bigger than mine. <laughs> yes, they are. They're lovely. But you have? No, you don't. No, I don't. Know. I used to have an earring actually yeah. in here, yeah. And CBS made me take it out when I started this show. Oh, I see. What, what I would kind of earring would you wear? Just a little, just a little stud. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I've got Where? a tattoo as well. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I have no tattoos, but I'm fascinated with. Really? Them. Would yeah. you like a tattoo? No. I could do one on you if you want. <laughs> Let's do one right now. Okay. <laughs> um, I. I got a pen. All right. I could uh, I could right draw the tattoo on, and then you can uh, have it filled in later by All a professional. Right. Sounds good. All right. Um, you know you're going to get a lot of trouble with this attitude. I have to tell you. I'm too accommodating. You are, are you too? No, I wouldn't draw on you because it may get on your dress, and you know. Oh, all right. And then that would be bad. Yeah. I'll draw on you later. How about right, things? Later. Things are good. This film looks very interesting. Do you move mattresses? That's the. the <laughs> To sort of explain that, we're a crime scene cleanup. Uh, I start my own business, and it's a crime, crime scene cleanup. And Emily Blunt plays my sister, and the mattress that we're taking out has had a decomp on it. What's, a, what's that? A decomp, which is when a body sits for a while. So we're carrying that out. Wait, yeah, you wait, wait, wait. <laughs> a decomp? A decomp. That's the industry term. Well, how yeah. long do you have to be lying around to become a decomp? <laughs> I should know that, actually. I, right. I probably should know that. Well, yeah. If yeah. You're, but, well, if you had a real tidy up crime business, then yeah. But yeah, you're an no. actress, luckily. Exactly. So, luckily, yeah. I, I, I know enough. Yeah. But I, I'm really obsessed with forensic and like forensic files and. Do really, do you watch the CSI? I do. Uh, CSI, yeah. forensic files, new detectives. I, I, I like the the real life ones. Do you know the one I like? Um, City Confidential. Do you ever That's watch that? The best, That's isn't great, it? isn't it? Because it's got that guy with the voice going. And he's like, Everybody thought they yes. were safe, <laughs> but they weren't safe. They were going to die. I, I fall asleep to them. Like, I put them on, yes. and I fall asleep to them. And I will be sleeping soundly, and my fiancé will wake up in the middle of the night. Wait, wait, you're I... not married and you sleep together? Hey! <laughs> what kind of a show is this? <laughs> you do yeah. have a tattoo, don't you? <laughs> I'm a bad girl, what mm. can I say? <laughs> Are you, when are you getting married? I don't know yet. All right. don't know. I, I was actually considering... I heard you did it in a very sort of surreptitious way. No, it wasn't surreptitious. I just didn't announce it to the press, which yes. apparently is uh, is me being secret. Yes, uh, exactly. <laughs> I thought it was just me having my own life. But uh, <laughs> apparently, if you don't announce things to the press, you're somehow being secretive. Uh, I so... thought I was just going to run away and elope until I, I, I recently tried a dress on, and then it was sort of... That's how they get you. I recently tried a dress on, but it was nothing to do with... <laughs> What, 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 you tried the, a wedding dress? I tried a wedding dress on, and I think that's how they get you. I, I'm sure the women will agree that you, you, you want it to be simple and casual, and then you put the dress on, and suddenly it's like the scene changes, and you can see the whole day, and it suddenly you know goes from being like a small park wedding to being like a huge cathedral in France. Well, in, in, in my wedding, the, uh, well, you know, my wife's wedding that I was allowed to go to, <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> Her dress was great, and we were yeah. we got married uh, in a farm in Vermont, and oh, it was snowing, so and she wore her uh, Wellington boots uh, to get. She had to get round the house to get in and get married. So I saw her coming round the aisle in her Aww. Wellington boots. I thought I made the right choice. I, I think know. so. I would like your wife. Yeah, you know you would I like my I wife. Yeah, like she's a very nice woman. I like her too. Oh, good. That's so, helpful. First time. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, great. That's helpful. No, no, it is. It's, you should always marry somebody you like. Take it from me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, this will be your first marriage, then? Yes. Oh, you want to get that one out of the way quickly. Get on it. <laughs> How many have you had? This is uh, three. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. 
I know. I just get quiet. I do. I know. I, I'm kind of amazed at it myself. I don't know how it happened. I just, you know, kept getting married. Um, but I'm done it. now. I'm done. That's it. It's you over. enjoy it. That's yeah, a yeah. Good I do. I'm a very, a very traditional. Very. Are you very traditional? I'm a very kind of old-fashioned person. Yeah, I think, except for you know. Sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, except clearly for, because you know, sleeping you know. with my fiance outside yes. of wedlock. But aside from that, I'm very traditional. Well, where, where are you from originally? I'm from Colorado. Well, it's quite conservative in yeah. places of Colorado. Yeah, isn't it? it can be very conservative. Can you? Well, they can be. <laughs> it's not all us and them, you know. We're all together in America now. We're united. Exactly. Yeah. I, no, I'm, I'm traditional. I wouldn't say I'm conservative, but I'm right. very traditional. I believe in being mannered and women being, you know, genteel and men being gentlemen. Right. To a certain extent. Well, well uh, what extent do you not like men to be gentlemen? At what point do you say, all right, gentlemen, time's Where over. Where is this going? I, I don't know. Somewhere this naughty. Somewhere naughty. Yeah, no, I probably shouldn't go there. Yeah. So you're in the crime cleaning business and you clean up the uh, mattresses that have had the decoms on them. Yeah, we... Where do you put the decom? You just pour them down the sink or something? What do you no, do with that? No, no, there are very strict rules to crime scene cleanup and biohazard removal. Oh, yeah, all right very... then. Uh... <laughs> Um, nothing, nothing sexier than that, huh? Well, biohazard removal. Biohazard. Well, it's removal. nice to get the biohazards out of the way. Exactly. No, yeah. it's a very, it's a, it's a very uh, detailed industry. Would you ever, would you ever have done that as a job rather than? I would not be good at that. Why? I'm not a tidy person, and uh, I don't think it would go well. <laughs> well, uh, do you, do you just you tidy up murders though. It's a, it's a whole different thing. It's not like, you know, cleaning an apartment. <laughs> it's not like, oh, I, I've got a clean apartment, I'll be able to solve crimes. I mean, Sherlock Holmes didn't say, look, I can solve this crime because I'm neat. No, but they actually don't, they don't solve the crime. Right. They clean up after, after CSI has come in, like. All right, so what, what, do you, what happens in the movie then? Do you inadvertently solve a crime in the movie? No, oh, no. Oh, okay. I don't. <laughs> what, uh, what happens then? I work out my relationship with my sister and my father and discover my own purpose in life. Oh. <laughs> There's no explosions in this movie, are there? There's no skeleton riding a motorcycle with his skull on fire no. in this movie, is there? No, there is not. Right. No, but we do have, we do have blood and gore, just not Oh, in really? Yeah. Oh, well, there yeah, you are, then. But you the tidy it up. Sense. Yes, yeah, we're, so we're tidying it up. Now, that's nice. Yeah. Do you enjoy the action movies, particularly Ghost Rider, I'm thinking about? Do you enjoy that movie? <laughs> I really do enjoy action movies. I love I love movie. going and seeing them in the really? theater. Yeah. You, have you ever been in one, an action movie? Um, doubt. It's a joke. It's a it joke. Was some sort of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. Uh, no, I haven't. I have not done an action movie. It's maybe about time. I think so. Yeah, get yourself a little outfit, solve a crime. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Stop a terrorist exactly. doing something bad, holding the country to ransom in your spandex, and hey, and no, oh, that'd uh, be awesome. A little slow motion and latex, huh? That's what my career needs right now. <laughs> It's not. You know, I'm glad you brought it up because <laughs> that did not come out right. No, I think that's. I think that's. That's maybe a way. That's something to think about. All right. Although I'll, I don't. I don't know. Porn. A little not, food for thought. Yeah, you no. Know, you. Yeah. You don't want to do porn. Uh, no. 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 I was. I was. That was yeah. more of a question. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> no, <it wasn't. laughs> I'm sorry. You don't want to do porn. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm not sure if I blush, but I think I might be blushing. Do you blush? Are you a shy not person? Not always. No, I'm not. I'm not typically shy. I just. Uh, I'm being a bit. I'm being a bit naughty. Yeah. So. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. right. I just, uh, yeah. And in the Colorado, when you go to Colorado, do you go skiing now? I don't. No. Why not? I don't ski. Um, I was a dancer. I was always afraid of hurting myself. I, I don't like. I, I don't like things that go downhill fast. Anything that goes downhill fast is not fun for me. You would love Holland. <laughs> Very little in Holland goes downhill fast. That's good. That's good. That's probably a good place for me. Yeah. Then. Have you ever been to Amsterdam? I have. It's nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Yeah. Yes. Things can go downhill fast <laughs> in Amsterdam. <laughs> Things can go downhill yeah. really fast. Yeah, in they can. Yes, yeah. sir. Did you ever go in the Milky Bar in Amsterdam? No. No, that's where you want to go. That's where things go downhill. That's fast. where things go down fast. Yeah. yeah. I see. I, I don't see. know if it's still there. I haven't been to Amsterdam in a long time. No, I haven't been in a while either. Well, it's not the place for me. 
Kristen Davis was here a couple of days ago. She goes to Tijuana a lot for her. Ah. Yeah. She gets her illegal drugs there, apparently. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's good. I'll, ha I'll have to give her a call. Yeah. <laughs> you should. It's I'm lovely kidding. to it's see you again, Amy. Too. Thank you so much for being on the show. Amy Adams, everybody. We'll be right back.